Greetings from ARPA-E. I'm James Zaylor, the Associate Director of Technology to Market at the agency. And today I am pleased to announce the final selections under our scale-up funding opportunity. Short for Seeding Critical Advances for Leading Energy Technologies with Untapped Potential. Scale-up is an exciting and essential new tool in ARPA-E's effort to achieve our mission through impact in the marketplace. Today's announcement is the culmination of a rigorous review and selection process that has resulted in the selection of nine awardees to pursue projects that total roughly $70 million in federal funds. These projects were selected from an initial pool of over 180 applicants proposing projects that totaled in excess of $1 billion in federal funds. These applications span the range of supported RPE technologies. Through our scale-up fast-track selection process, we had previously announced the selection of two awards. The first fast-track award was made to Natron Energy from ARPA-E's Open 2012 program for their project, Domestic Manufacturing of Sodium Ion Batteries. With this project, Natron will scale manufacturing of their sodium ion battery technology that uses Prussian blue electrodes to enable two times more power and 10 times the cycle life of competing technologies. With these advantage, advantages plus their inherent safety, Natron will deploy their eight kilowatt 50 volt battery trays for use in data centers to manage peak compute load and provide critical backup power. The second fast track award was made to Bridger Photonics from ARPA-E's monitor program for their, their project, Scaling Disruptive Methane Leak Detection and Quantification. Bridger will use this project to evolve their gas mapping LIDAR technology that allows methane leaks to be precisely located and quantified. The project will dramatically improve oil and gas operational efficiency for leak detection and emissions tracking reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and secure U.S. technological leadership in emissions detection and quantification. And now to the new awards. The first newly announced selection is 24M Technologies from ARPA-E's BEAST program for their project, Next Generation Lithium Metal Anode Cells for Electric Aviation. With this award, the 24M team will develop and scale up battery batteries incorporating a lithium electrode subassembly and semi-solid cathode that deliver low-cost energy storage, superior power, and improved energy density for electric aviation. The next selection is Autogrid Systems from ARPA-E's Genie program for their project titled Highly Scalable Virtual Power Plant Platform for Mass Storage and EV Deployments. Autogrid has developed their Flex product as an energy flexibility management and virtual power plant software platform that enables utilities and energy as a service providers to aggregate and optimize distributed energy resources. This project proposes to significantly increase Flex's capabilities by co-optimizing in real time the number of storage assets to 100,000 and expanding its features and functionality for the electric vehicle fleet management use case. Up next is Cambridge Electronics from ARPA-E's ADEPT program, selected for their project, 8-inch three-dimensional gallium nitride FinFET technology for energy efficient data centers and 5G networks. Cambridge Electronics has developed a disruptive 3D gallium nitride technology with far greater capabilities than today's planar gallium nitride transistors. Cambridge Electronics will use their scale-up project to create an ecosystem around the 3D GAN technology by transferring it to a U.S.-based 8-inch silicon wafer manufacturing plant and partnering with epitaxial wafer vendors, foundries, and semiconductor chip and module manufacturers for collaborative product development. Longpath Technologies, also from ARPA-E's monitor program, has been selected for a project titled Basin Scan, which is short for Basin Scale Continuous Oil and Gas Emissions Abatement Network. With this award, Long Path will take the next steps to develop the largest continuous emissions monitoring network for the oil and gas industry. The network will be able to locate and size natural gas emission, emissions in real time across 700 square miles of the Permian Basin in the southwest U.S., this has the potential for to reduce oil and gas production emissions by 60 to 80% basin-wide. 
Sela Nanotechnologies from RPE's BEAST program was selected for their project, Scale-Up Technology for Accelerated Adoption of High-Capacity Silicon Anodes in Mass-Market Electric Vehicles. With prior RPE support, Sela developed a unique drop-in replacement silicon-dominant composite anode powder that boosts autom automotive lithium-ion battery energy density by greater than 20% and enables fast charging. With this project, SELA will develop and scale manufacturing processes to allow them to meet the demanding volume requirements of electric vehicle battery production. Next up is Switched Source, originally from ARPA-E's Genie program, who were selected for their project, Scaling Up Cost-Effective Grid Modernization. Switched Source is introducing the next generation of distrib distribution automation technology for large commercial and industrial customers and electric utilities which cost-effectively improves the electric distribution grid's reliability, resiliency, and distributed generation hosting capacity. Switch Source will use this scale-up project to support targeted demonstrations of its two patented smart grid devices that actively manage real and reactive power flows on medium voltage systems. The final scale-up selection is Ionic Materials from ARPA-E's Ionics program for their project high throughput manufacturing of breakthrough polymer electrolyte to enable low cost solid state batteries. With this award, Ionic Materials will validate critical elements of its polymer electrolyte, retiring key technical manufacturing and market risks on the path toward commercialization for solid state lithium ion batteries. Please join me in congratulating these selectees to ARPA-E's Scale Up program. We look forward to their future success.